I don't often post single book reviews. In fact, have I ever posted a single book review? No, <laughs> I don't think I have. But I've just read a book, which you'll know what it is because it's in the thumbnail. All Dogs Are Blue by Rodrigo de Souza Lau and translated by Zoe Perry and Stephen Tobler that made me feel like I needed to sit down and talk about this book all on its own and it is its own video. I didn't want it to get lost in a wrap up video. It just needed, it needed its own space because this book, I can't stop thinking about it. I literally cannot stop thinking about it. I think it's going to end up featuring in one of my research projects for university because this is something else. First of all, what is it about? This is a stream of consciousness story a la Mrs Dalloway. They're, like the, the similarities are, are obvious. However, it's if you took Mrs Dalloway and then when I want to set this in um, an insane asylum in um, South America featuring a schizophrenic stream of consciousness um, who suffers from paranoid delusions. It is, it is a wild ride. It is very hard to describe. I put off reading this book because uh, when I watched Jane Campbell talking about various um, books from And Other Stories who published this one, she said that she ended up, I think, DNFing this one, or she really didn't like this one. I think she DNFed it. Um, and her reason was that, um, literally on like the second page in, or a couple of pages in, we're talking about masturbation, and <laughs> that does not end. Like, that is comes up again and again, and there are some really horrendous sexual scenes in this. Like, one in particular of um, him describing him lo himself losing... Oh, of him describing how he lost his virginity to a warthog and the vivid details that are gone into is horrifying. Like absolutely, absolutely horrifying. But the thing is, he's suffering with paranoid delusions and half of the stuff that's written in this, you don't know if it's an, if it's an hallucination or if it's real. I would hope that was a hallucination, but it's said as if it was a very real event that happened in his memory. So yeah, it is massively disturbing and I can see why anyone would DNF it. It is only short, that's why I did persevere with it because again, the same with Mrs Dalloway. I don't think this is a fun read. Like, stream of consciousness is not easy. It's not something that you read for fun necessarily. It's something that you put effort into. It's something that you read if you find literariness <laughs> fun. <laughs> I don't think I describe myself very well here. A big question about this that I had initially is whether it's derogatory towards those living in mental hospitals, those with illnesses like schizophrenia, those who are suffering with paranoid delusions. If I didn't know anything about the author, I would say this was actually a pretty nasty book in terms of how it depicts these people how unsympathetic it is, how almost brutal it is in its depictions of people with mental illnesses. However, this is semi-autobiographical. The author wrote this from his own experience. Um, sadly, the author, I believe, committed suicide. It's not expressly mentioned in the um, note from the publishers how he died, but I think the... Um, I think the implication is, is pretty obvious that he took his own life. These are, whilst this is fictional, this book is written, drawn from Rodrigo's own experiences. He suffered with these same illnesses. That just sheds a whole new light on it. And something I'm absolutely fascinated with is the presence of the author in fiction. This is why I say this is possibly something that's gonna end up featuring in one of my uh, research projects because there is a big debate about whether the intention of the author matters and I think in this case it does because if you read this in isolation as I say you would probably think that this was a horrendous piece of literature in how it depicts people who are suffering with mental illness however when you realize that it's written as an own voice piece that changes your perception of it that changes how you read it it changes what this book means and what this book does. 
yeah, so that's what I say. <laughs> like, I don't really know how to describe myself any better. I feel like I've rambled, but that is, like, this book is just churning around in my mind. I cannot get it out of my head. I cannot stop thinking about it and what it does. All Dogs Are Blue by Rodrigo de Souza Lau and translated by Zoe Perry and Stephen Tobler. A fascinating read, a difficult read, both because it's stream of consciousness and, as I say, because of some of the horrific graphic content that's in it. But I think I'm going to say I highly recommend it if you're interested in that sort of thing.